Welcome to Valparaiso. Well, more specifically, a Toro Prat Pier. Yo, check out Lago Icalma here. Uh, this is the ship to Easter Island, a journey which takes eight to 10 days. La Esmeralda parked out there looking beautiful. Poppy has actually been on this ship back in Miami. And as this particular superstructure accepts larger ships in its hull, it lowers itself down to accommodate the extra water needed to funnel it in. Pretty technical on a very large scale. This is Jacob and you are watching Spice Vagrant. We just hopped off the pier at Prat Pier in Valparaiso, Chile, and we are on a private boat just touring around the bay. Marine skills. Huge ships that sink into the water and repair boats, and cleaner boats that go around in nets and keep the bay clean. Systems that they have in place for 100, 200 years. A marine person's wonderland here. And right now you're rocking to a beat that I made for yours truly. But in the boat at the time, we got this OG to my left right now. And he loves him some Santana listening to classics. Behold La Ismarelda in all her glory. That's right, keep working gentlemen. I think you missed a spot over there on the hole. Ooh, in the back. You guys got a lot of work to do. Yes, and the guide had, uh, he had jokes. I'll give him that. For instance, there was only Valparaiso, and the surrounding Minya, Del Mar, and Concon, he called those other cities. The water in Valparaiso Bay is only green because the soccer team is so good. You get where I'm going with this. There was some pride. Returning to the pier, it was time to go check out another historic area in Valparaiso. at an UNESCO World Heritage Site, the 21st Hill, 21 de Mayo, elevator um, that's been around and operational for years and years and years. It's one of the longest with uh, one of the best views of the port. The Artilleria is the uh, name of this particular lift, so I will keep you posted on what this looks like. In Chile, it's said that you can tell if a person's from Valparaiso if their legs are toned from so many hills. The hill trolley was designed to alleviate a little bit of that. And while they're often in service, when open, they are a great way to see the city. At the top are many shops that you can pop into and check out the kind of touristy little souvenirs and knickknacks and get a great view of the bay free of charge. I used the opportunity to get in some filming, take some pictures, and I was on my way. You can take alternate means to get down the hill, and that's kind of part of the fun. Get lost in the winding roads, see where you end up.
Again, I'm Jacob Palaco with SpiceVagrant.com. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share, and make sure and subscribe for new content weekly, every Friday evening.